Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we want to use the ultrasonic measurement device, the ultrasonic distance measurement, uh, to determine distance. <laughs> we want to measure. We want to measure distance. So uh, we talked about this ultrasonic measurement. Uh, what we need to what we need to have. We need to have power supply, VCC, we have ground, we have a trigger and we have an echo pin. Okay, and I'm going to build this on the breadboard because then I can put it in yeah? and well it's easier to measure distance than if it's just lying around. This is not working that good. So what is the first one we need? Ground. Okay, I'll we'll connect it to ground here. Then on the other side we have the power supply connected to 5 volts. Then we have the echo pin echo connected to 3, I will use simply 3 and 2. And we have the trigger pin connected to 2. Okay, and now I'm going to stick in the sensor correctly aligned. That's it. That should be, that should be it. I would simply move it like that. Huh? Then we are not measuring the cables. We, are, we have here some free space. All right. Good, so that's the hardware setup. Huh? That's the hardware setup. Uh, we'll plug it in to the computer. Bin, bidi, bin. Good. Hardware is set up. Hardware is set up. Hmm. Hardware set up complete. Uh, well, let's program. So at the computer, we are opening a new sketch, like always, like business as usual, I would say, save it under a corresponding name. Uh, I think this is meanwhile 30, 29 we have used, right? Yes, so it is 30. Uh, ultrasonic. Good name. Ultrasonic. So, also business as usual, define the input pins, okay, or define the pins, define, so we have a trigger pin, this is two, we have an echo pin, this is three, we have to define the, the pin mode, Trigger pin is of course an output. Mm -hmm. The echo pin is of course an input. Input is sufficient. And we will use the serial monitor uh, to measure something. Okay. Okay. So now we define. Okay. <laughs> now we defined uh, our pins, yeah? and we will use an unsigned long value where we keep the duration in microseconds until we receive the echo, yeah? and we will read this in, and we will code uh, separate or our own function. Yeah? We'll use unsigned long. This is the return value of the function and we will, the function is called get duration. Duration. A yeah? good name for the function. Head duration. Head, 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 get. Yeah? Alrighty. Make it the same look as the others. 
what we need to do? We need to trigger. Okay, so we need to be sure that there is a pulse with a certain length. So the first thing we're going to make, we make sure that the trigger pin is low uh, or zero. And then we delay. And I don't want to delay milliseconds, I just want to delay some microseconds. Microseconds. Uh, two that should be sufficient. This is enough for this element. Then we set it to high. The high level should be 10 microseconds. And then we set it to low again. Now we triggered the sending of the of the ultrasonic impulse. Now we just have to measure how long this echo pin is high. Yeah? There is a function, luckily, it's called pulse in. Okay, this pulse in I have to give the pin where it should listen. Yeah? Now I tell pulse in, look at the echo pin, and now look at the echo pin as long as it is high. Okay? So the pulse in function sits and waits. Yeah? To prevent blocking the program, we have to give a timeout value. So we say, okay, if you don't receive in, I don't know, let's use 3000 long, this L means long, so it's a long value, 3000 uh, microseconds, if you have waited 3000 microseconds, forget it. There will, there will no echo be, or there will no, the pin will, the, the, the high will not change. Uh, forget it. So this is the timeout value here. So we are looking at the echo pin, waited, waiting until it's high, and the return value of this pulse in is how many microseconds it has waited. Okay, so this is what we can return. So this function is now, this get duration function is now returning the microseconds is triggering the measurement and is returning the microseconds. All right. If the pulse in function is returning zero, this means the pulse was not received or there was no pulse. It was a uh, timeout, for instance. Good. Uh, so I can ask if duration is not zero, uh, then we have received something. This is good. Uh, if duration, we will print this out. Uh, measured duration. So we'll print out the duration and then we'll also give a unit. I'm not even sure if microseconds, if this mu is properly displayed on the ceremony, we will see. Else, yeah? so if we have not received something, we will print we'll print this also out. So we will say ah uh, no echo received explanation mark <laughs> then we make a delay that we're not measuring all the time but twice a second let's say uh, should be sufficient okay so this should already do the trick i would say uh, so upload this Open the serial monitor. 1000, little bit under 1100 microsecond is the measured duration. Let's see what is happening if I am removing here somewhere, let's say the echo pin. No echo received. Good. Yeah. So this is working. So now, we have, this is measuring. Okay, so now this is measuring. Let's see what is happening if I put here the ruler. 
Ah, then it's not that long. If I'm moving closer, I'm closing in, the time is getting shorter. This is clear, right? Let's see how close I can get. 200 microseconds. Ah, no echo received. Okay, now, oh, this is pretty close. Here, it's back already. This is a cool device. Okay, so this is how this is working. All right. Maybe you could try. Now we're having microseconds. Okay, now you know how far or how many, how long an echo takes from this <laughs> camera to, to the sensor and back. Yeah. Think about how you could change the program that we not see microsecond, that we see, I don't know, centimeters or something like this. Yeah. So this could be your task that you're not calculating just the duration of the echo, yeah? until the echo is received, that you are um, transferring this into distance, because after all it should be a distance measurement, right? Yeah, so that's, that's distance measurement, all right? Next time, we do level measurement. Huh? with this device. Yeah. How this device is working and why it's so shiny and has some so many stripes on it, I will explain in the next video and then we're going to utilize it. Yeah. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye!